Is it on? It's on. Okay. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> um, silly boys. Jeeps are for girls. Jack Hyduk. It's Pride Month and I'm not having any of it. You hear? Look at me the wrong way. I'm transitioning you. Get too mouthy. <laughs> consider yourself transitioned. Okay. I'm taking names and transitioning this month. I'm oh, sorry. Transition the whole family. Why don't you? Ua Smith. Okay, there you go. Um, <laughs> how's everybody doing today? We're back. Um, Stop water salad. Yeah, we uh, were absent for a bit, but we're back now. And uh, what have we missed since Pride Month started? It did. Um, I guess you queers get something. Happy Pride <laughs> Happy Pride Month to those who celebrate. And oh, uh, we'll get into it. I'm sick of you hoes, but yeah, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Happy Pride Month. What else is this month? Father's Day is this month. Oh. Mm. Now, when I was at um, the store getting flowers and cards for uh, Mother's Day, yes. I did a little self-checkout and the lady thought I was brain dead, I guess. So she was trying to walk me through how to scan the three items I had. Oh. And um, she goes, what beautiful flowers, blah, blah. And she goes, it's so sad. Everybody goes all out for Mother's Day and then Father's Day. And I said, well, most dads are awful. Is that fact, though? <laughs> I think it is. It's, a, it's at least anecdotal information. Yes. And from what I know and all yeah. the people I know, it's like. These, it's these, at least a rocky relationship. Yeah, like these dads don't act the way these moms have acted i'll tell you that much so it's quite simple so i was like yeah because so many dads suck and she was like oh <laughs> gotcha I, like, yeah, I don't know what you, okay like goodbye she was a meninist she must have been because she was like heartbroken that my mom was getting beautiful flowers and bitch what are you you don't know what i'm doing for my also dad. she has no idea if you're a young wild american come on baby <laughs> you have a girlfriend okay um yeah, so Father's Day and Pride Month, that's it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a mid-off. Whatever The that holidays means. this month are having a mid-off. Um, no, um... Wait, what was that? Ugh, speaking of father. What was it um, Ashton? Not Ashton. Kutcher? Ashton Kutcher. It was um, <laughs> Zac Efron's dad. No, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber's dad posted a thing yesterday <laughs> on his Instagram story, and it was like the rainbow flag and... Over top, it says, uh, make sure to thank a straight person for your existence this month. Like. And everyone was getting up in arms. I'm like, that's, like. It's funny. And how about you make a straight person eat your fucking pussy? That's what I'll make a straight person do. It is funny, but it's also like, you're just asking for it. Like, no, that's you know thing, you like, have eyes on you. You are not just some random person on Facebook sharing, like, upsetting yeah, things. Yeah, like, your hot takes. So I didn't even know what his dad looked like. Until I had no then. idea I he never, had a father. Yeah, I thought it was a whole, like, was I think that is how it went. Like, his mom raised him yeah. initially. So, I don't know, shit. Maybe they don't even, like, uh, fuck with each other. Yeah, because isn't it heartbreaking how Mother's Day everyone goes all out, but Justin Bieber's not going to do anything for his dad? It's heartbreaking. Month. It is. But, He's um, a Christian. Yeah, because he was part of that weird culty yeah. type church. And people were saying, like, there was a weird thing going on with, um, <laughs> weird thing. Weird thing with the gays. It's like anti. Literally, no, him being involved with the pastor. Where Justin it was like, Bieber yes. fucking the pastor. Well, I don't Pastors know. Pastors love like, fucking men. It was, Sorry. <laughs> it was like a weird thing where they're like, he's gotten really close to him really fast, and he got like all wrapped up in this like weird. Justin church. Bieber got cunted. His anus got it cunted <laughs> by the pastor. Three minutes in, and we are off the rails. But uh, and I'm off to the races, Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. So don't quote me on any of that. But, um, anyways, uh, you started a new job yesterday. Oh, I did. And I only got misgendered once. Is that true? Yeah, it was kind of cunt. Who was it? A worker or? Why was that a, an old teacher of mine? His wife. And then he was like. His wait, what? His wife. So his. Wife. Oh, is it somebody from high school? Yeah, teacher? yeah, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say I'm like, because the other teacher that was oh, there. Oh, yeah, no, no, imagine like, that little okay. senorita. I <laughs> punt that bitch. Um, Camilla. Havana, unana. She's getting booked there next week. Nobody fucking wants. Like her. dancing oddly to paparazzi or some shit. Applause. 
Oh, okay. um, right. So I was helping old girl with her chair, and she was like, "Oh," and the guy was the um the male. Her husband was like, I guess, trying to get through, and I was like, holding it. And she was like, "Oh, he, um, oh. something about he can get it or something like that." And then he goes, "Thanks, sir." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh no!" But he, I feel like he didn't even like look me in my eyes. It was like, "Just like, oh, thanks, sir." And I'm like, "Wait, hold the fuck up, like." To confidently say, sir, I don't think I pass as, like, cis woman, but to <laughs> confidently say, sir, is crazy Well, you're in me. your crazy dress on, too, under your T-shirt. I, have, I had a gown. <laughs> I had a gown, T-shirt, and... Well, it looked like a Baptist yesterday. I, it was giving Fundy. Front gate or back gate or whatever. Um, but, at my new job, I serve Fundy. Yeah, um, but the new job is my job where I've worked before, and who is on board now... And everybody got scheduled yesterday except for me. <laughs> but seeing as Uwa can't drive a vehicle, I had to drive Uwa, and then I just stayed the whole time. So Katie joined me, though, so that was nice. You're but, the Katie to my tiz. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, new job. Did you enjoy it? Did you have a nice day? I did enjoy it. It was cool. It, oh, my God. It was so chilly. Like, I had no idea it was going to be fall. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. It was I fucked up. I see out. No, like, I see. Write my name in ice. I see like, out. But my arm froze. My fucking arm froze. I'm glad it went well though. You... Boop boop. My arm froze. Yeah. No, it was good. I'm excited. I get my little check. Um, and I do my little thing. How sweet. Real witches do real things, and real faggots do real things. <laughs> faggots. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? No, no, no. Speaking of which, though, coworker at the new job. The lovely, um, ble- ble- our, our lovely um, Dylan, who um, w- he was accused of witchcraft, essentially, to some. Sodomy. <laughs> For wearing white Converse. And then yesterday he wasn't wearing them and I asked where they went and he said he had to get new shoes because of what I was saying. You're awful. <laughs> Dylan, we love you so much. Yeah, no, Dylan, Wear you your white Converse. Lovely in your white Converse. We don't think you're sweet genius. Um, Wear them on Saturday if you're not a sweet genius. Period. Um, but that's a fuck. And he'll never read this and hear <laughs> no. this in time. Um, <laughs> it's so fucked up. Like, I guess I want to talk on that briefly. Go ahead. Go ahead, lady. <laughs> the um, like I, it is awful. It is awful how we, as a society, are obsessed with people's sexuality to the point where we will actively accuse them and bully them either into saying yes no or actually we're never pleased i just think back (laughs) like we're actually never satisfied no literally i think back to where i was a young queer person and like young wild american i would say i was a young wild american faggot but (laughs) i did not want to i did not want to say that at the time and it was insane the amount of people pressuring me who like people at like school and stuff or yes family or ch- all uh, uh family was more just so like bitch don't be you lost that challenge anyways yeah challenge <laughs> fucking fail bitch i'm trans um <laughs> but proud. no that's crazy and i just think about just inside society in general like bottom mendez i like that joke and it's hilarious and <laughs> i take part in it believe me but it's just so crazy how obsessed we are with that shit. That is sad because it's that's insane. all, like, if you go on Twitter or anything, how I've touched on that, the stand Twitter people who Bottom are lunatics, Mendes. it's never like, oh, I really like his music. Oh, no. oh, I don't like his music. It's nothing to do with it's his just job. It's accusing and this is him why of you're these gay. things and saying heinous things. Not only like, is he, maybe he's gay. Is <laughs> he gay? Question. It's no, you are. And like. What did that tweet say about Bottom Mendez? They're calling him Bottom Mendez, not even his name. Uh, has HIV. <laughs> it's like, what kid? Like, I do feel bad because some of like <gasps> things are funny, but that's just like insane. It's crazy. And awful. It's crazy. Like, and um, he will never live giggle. that down. No, if he truly is not at yeah. the end of the day, that's sad. Well, either way, it's sad. No, fully. Like the guy from um. What is it? Abbott Elementary and, like, Everyone Hates Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying how, like, because he's a very feminine uh, person, I guess, compared to 
I don't know. That's weird too. Like, it's weird how you can be queer but straight. <laughs> like, you can give hello queer vibes, but like, oh, okay, I was the like, opposite sex. So it's like the opposite swimsuit area. Correct. That's just weird too. Like, and so that's the thing. Like, when people say I'm born this way, bitch, you're not born liking dick, but you were born queer. <laughs> Like, do you know what, what I mean? That? No, not at all, because... Because, what do you mean? You don't know what I mean. Because, like, okay, so take me for example. Like, me, as you know me, whether I liked whatever, like, say I liked, say I am a cis... Is anyone else... Say I'm a cis person. This? Oh, no, they're going to okay. get it. Say I'm a cis person. Threat. Oh, bitch, you will get it, and you will get transitioned. Trust. I'm not playing. Look at me the wrong way, and I will transition you, bitch. Yeah, look what happened to the troll. Like, transitioned, as he should. I mean, she. Um, <laughs> yeah, wait. <laughs> excuse me. Um, respect her transition. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, like, okay, take me as an example. If I was a cis individual, c- cis, straight, okay, great, love it, I would still be queer. Like, my essence will still be a queer okay, bitch. Okay, because you were yelling about this one time about how you don't have to have any sort of same-sex attraction to be queer. Yes, But yes. then that just falls under, like, that sounds almost like how it was a derogatory word for so long, where it's like, you're just a little odd. If you're not, what do you mean you're not well, gay? No, you're just a little weird. Like, well, no, <laughs> but that's the thing. that what we, I think we have to take the connotation out of queer meaning weird, and it just being well, like... I mean, that's what the word meant, I think, from the jump, and then it turned into a, a homophobic thing. Like, that was, it was used as, like, weird. Like, this is queer. And then it turned into a negative thing for people, but now it's, like, reclaimed or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I fucking love the word queer. I love it with my life. I'm glad. Okay. So. So people are so queer and they're straight. Que- you'll be queer no matter what. <laughs> so queer is what queer does. And I will transition you. Okay. You don't, what do you mean? You, so you don't know what I'm talking about when I say you can be queer but not, but, like, straight? No, like, I do get it. When you first said it, it's like, what are you talking... When you say, oh, I'm not born like in dick, but I'm born queer. And it's yeah. Like, <laughs> what is not like clear that, about that? I guess is like, uh, too blunt, where it's like, what are you meaning? What is your definition of queer then? Right, okay, yeah. Because you're just saying shit. I feel like queer... My definition of queer would be like... Um... I feel like queer is just like... Your Honestly, art pop. chaotic energy. Queer is art pop. <laughs> queer is literally art pop fucking it could incarnate. could mean anything. No, quite literally. But it, like, you know queer separate when it's like, okay, wait. I feel like you know queer when you see it, but it is hard to <laughs> describe. Like, I feel like I'm a queer ass bitch and there's no denying that. But I don't think anyone would. Yes, but like, I feel like I wouldn't even have to. It, that that's like not even attached to sexuality. Someone clocking me as queer, right? I think to most people it is directly attached because that's what most people see that as. Because you use that word to describe usually when you're discussing sexuality. You're not saying like this person's artsy or different or out there or like type. Th-. No, it's like when you say that, everybody automatically assumes that. I don't think you it, should. That's literally the cue. Is that the Q in LGBTQ or is that questioning? Um, mm. It's got to be. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I have no idea. Nothing. No research has gone into this. No. I do get what you're saying. I don't think a lot of people would be like, oh, yeah, I totally get that. Because it is, for the most part, you hear that word and you assume this is like some sort of like. About sexuality. Yes. So I do get what you're saying. Because there's so many straight people where it's like, bitch, you're queer. Like. I don't care what you like. I don't care what you are into. Mama, you are queer. Cheyenne talking to Neoma. <laughs> Literally. I don't care what you like. I don't care what you're into. I you're queer. I don't care what you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you are. You're a lesbian. Oh. Rachel, baby, wake up. You're barely taking a cis of your fucking uh, pronouns. Cis. Bis. <laughs> Rachel, are you cis? Okay. Hardly. Uh, now, I have a quick... Rachel, are you a brick? <laughs> uh, if you... Y'all, do, you, do y'all think I'm Twink Han? Shut up. Do you see the clusterfuck that's happening here? But um, I thought we'd add our giant fun troll. 
I, we should have added him a while back, but he he's sold great. yesterday, so he's he's getting shipped off today. So I wanted to include him because he's epic. okay. What are their pronouns? Because at this point, we've thrown a lot around. <laughs> like, what is it? They go by anything. That okay, I like that. No, we'll yeah, write it off, and we um, didn't transition them. But <laughs> then uh, we also have all the fruit squishmallows, fruit bats for too. fruity vibes yes. for the Pride Month special. Happy Pride, y'all! I do love <laughs> acting like anti-gay though. Like I love that and, shit. That people, I was seeing that on Twitter. There's discourse about that because this year, none of like the corporations change their logos to rainbow yeah. like they always do. And I saw some people being like, "Oh, good, like I don't want that performative yeah. shit or whatever." But it's also like with the way things are, yeah, maybe you need like, to it's be performative. I'm pretty sure it's more so them being scared yeah. of backlash from the lunatics. Like, look at the was it even Budweiser? Yeah, Bud yeah. Light, Bud Light. Uh, with the whole Dylan yeah. Mulvaney thing, like how I've I've never seen something so stupid in my life. Like the Pretty backlash silly. from that, like Pretty silly. and they're all so scared now. Go of woke, something go like broke. That. Like and also it's like, bitch, you're hilarious. You have no idea how corporations work. They I, all r- are run by the same thing. The one bitch. was like a fuck ton of hillbillies bought like all the Bud Light to in throw a it store, out or some and shit. they like ran over it with like the uh, black top flattener, like the big thing you know during in construction sites. Like they were at a construction site and run it all over. Like it's you almost like it, you baby. gave them your money already. You though. bought like, it. So that shit is so stupid because I saw uh, at Target that the Pride collection, like their clothes yeah, and shit, some in like new, some New York stores, I think. What I don't know what you're. I, what I was just gonna say, I saw people. They're like complaining. They're tearing apart the displays, yeah, or whatever. Or put it to the but back. The one thing is, people are taking all of it and putting it in their carts. They take it all off the hangers, put it in their carts, go up to checkout, have the worker scan it all, and they go, "Oh, I left my wallet in the car," and then they just leave. And so then it takes hours for them to hang up every item again <gasps> and shit. It's like you're just doing that to the worker you're not saving the children you're not doing anything like you're just making work for this minimum wage person that's fucked up who already fucking hates you because nobody is going and buying all of it like supporting pride because nobody if you really want it you'll go buy a t-shirt or whatever yeah you're clearly up to some bullshit and there you are and now you're fucking with like a 19 year old getting paid like 12 (laughs) dollars an hour so i don't People are so fucking They're annoying. Awful. They're like, really awful. If they put half that like amount of energy into like making the world a better place, the, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. crazy no, it's where amazing. we could be. It's amazing what we. Or if and that's why I sort of hate like. That's sort of why I hate negativity and hate bitches who just love talking shit. This entire podcast. <laughs> yeah, wait. In a way that's just like doesn't help anyone because it's like, bitch, if only you spent half the energy on things that you actually enjoyed yeah <laughs> like imagine just where you could be in it life. would be like that picture where it's like flying cars and everything's metallic <laughs> like, quite <laughs> literally it's insane it's ridiculous you're mm. worried about what's in my pants and who i like to have sex also with? i've really been enjoying because not enjoying because it's awful but it's so fucking crazy all the videos i've seen several in the past like two weeks where a woman will be filming another woman in the bathroom saying like what do you think you're doing in here blah 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 like i, I don't feel comfortable with a trans person in the bathroom cis and woman. none of them have been trans cis, just a cis woman and it's like why are you filming in a bathroom <laughs> to begin with like i don't like, care what's going on uh, you're filming in a bathroom you're nuts second of all oh look you're wrong yeah like and with that babes what was going to ha- like what did you now you're causing a scene for what that person no matter what it was just wanted to piss and actually go about their business that's too much to ask for and you're inviting TMC into the fucking washroom i see that for shit what? when i fall down those like um republican rabbit holes I hate that we falling touched down on it but it's like, so interesting when all of them it's always like oh uh, you can always tell when a person's yeah. trans like blah 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 like I don't think any of them can, because here we are. No, fully. Like, Daniel Radcliffe's wife, they love just calling that woman a man. Pregnant. I well, didn't even know he was married. Individual. Yes. I saw... <laughs> I went down that rabbit uh-huh. hole, and I just saw that shit. And one of the turfs was like, you all see what I see? A baby bump? <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. I'm like, um, you're just attacking another one of your sisters. Isn't it protect women? What happened to that? 
No, they're busy protecting the children right now. The women are yeah back of the line. The women are all like, men. But it's like, what do you mean? We can, you can always tell when a woman's trans. And the best part is, I bet some of these women that are like being accused of being trans to get thrown out of these bathrooms and shit, you know, not all of them are like fully supporting fully that. so it's like oh it's biting you in the ass and you're fully. not trans that's like, the thing oh look you're not like that's trans people aren't the only people getting fucked over with yeah. like hate like that like because now they're shitting in on you are just androgynous looking like a lot of people are like huh i'm not quite literally i'm not quite sure what i'm a lot looking of humans at. <laughs> that is human they are transhuman period oh sweet genius sweet genius Oh my god. Oh my god. Who wants to be silent now? Don't silence, Poe. Come on, baby, speak. Neoma, what did you hear? Now, I know you heard that, and this was crazy During coming out of Poe's mouth at the Pride Month special week one. Look at. Now, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> now, why am I in it? Um. Yeah. No, it's weird. I wish I just wish we did better as humans. Like I just wish we did That's too so much, much to better. Ask. Next. Next caller. <laughs> um Yeah, I think we should the word straight and gay should be illegal. Um I think Oh yeah, what have have you gotten any checks from the government for being queer? No, yeah, yet? it's fucked up. Yeah, no. Remember they don't give a fuck about that? my trans. You said that like life. three weeks in a row that you're waiting for the government to send you a check for being trans. And so I'm waiting. You could just not and I'm waiting. Anything, as if it's like a disability check. And something. I'm waiting. It's not a disability. It's fucking. I know, but you were saying like, oh no, I'm getting it because I am, so I don't have to work. <laughs> like it's like like parallel. and and what? And 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 like you didn't give me check. What did I do? What I do? Me to the government um, for being trans. How was the Taylor Swift concert? Did anybody go? Mm, actually, a lot of people went. They did. Uh, and actually, they were, a lot. Because Taylor came to Chicago uh, this past weekend. What was it? Who? Tay, was it too disrespectful, the slur he used for the Tay? Tay oh, Turd? What was it? No, no, no. Oh, fuck. What was it? Um, Tay. It's no. good. It was well, good. I've seen them say Tay Dolph. Yeah. Because they say she's like... I feel like it was a Tay-Tay something. I keep forgetting to move it away. <laughs> I ate so much food in the past 24 hours, it's not even funny. Like, it is fucked up. Like, at the venue last night, it was working. I got my chicken tenders because they're really good. Then we come so home, good. pop an edible. I'm like, I need snack. So we order the 24-hour breakfast place. I get a grilled cheese with fries and then crepes. Mm -hmm. I eat all that. I go to bed. I wake up. I said I need it again. Mm -hmm. I ordered another grilled cheese with fries and crepes. And then I had a food abortion because yeah. that was not a baby. Mm -mm. Something. It was scrambled. Oh. So, yeah. I'm, my stomach's gurgling a bit right now. I think that's going to have to be dealt with eventually. You will be dealt with. But, um, yeah. Let wait, we... Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to know if you... Um, just hear me out. <clears throat> Do you remember this in your uh, sobriety as we speak now? Let's see. I have a Blank will finger whoever she wants this summer. She's going to smack your ass and then you feel something poking your back. It's a gun. Did you say that last night? No. I did not say that. <laughs> you no. said this weeks ago. Oh. And I'm just now bringing it to I light. I have no idea who that's about. Should I say it? No, because I don't want to. <laughs> um, I was gonna say I don't recall that, but I do have one thing I typed down last night because I was weak. Um, where I said <laughs> I was so hungry before we ordered food. I'm like, I'm so hungry. I wish I had a big bowl of honey nut de fuck, like honey nut de fucks, because I I've been saying de fuck like so fucking stupid. <laughs> Oh, I have it typed down as honey bunches of defuck. Honey Not bunches honey of defuck. Defuck. It is honey bunches of defuck. And it's honey bunches of Katie Tiz. Yeah, we kept talking about Katie Tiz, too. Again, nobody... Do you know who that is? I'm sure you fucking don't. She's a one-hit wonder from 2015. One thing about that girl, Katie Tiz, she's going to whistle and she's going to work it. And that's her day one rule. Keeping okay. her cool. <laughs> um. Well, the other day I was at McDonald's and the oh. manager, who was an older black lady... 
um, <laughs> who I love. I always love the older black ladies. You're that, a baller, aren't you? They're, she like, she goes, oh, you can um go sit down. I'll bring you your breakfast or whatever. Because I was like waiting there. I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go sit down. She comes home. She goes, oh my, like, what a tall boy you are. You must play ball, don't you? You must be six two. I'm like. She's like, how tall are you? I'm like, I don't six one. I think I don't. I haven't measured myself. And she was like, Oh my god, you just must play ball. And I was like, Oh no, I don't. And she's like, That's crazy. She goes, Such a tall, handsome young man. How much would you sell this for? Make me an offer. Two bucks. No, <laughs> bitch. Um, no. Thirty-five. I'll, I'll cut you a deal. She's so cute. She's so kawaii. She is kawaii. I don't know what I would do. Y'all are it, uh, welcome to make offers on items on the couch, except Monkey Bride stays, Archie stays. Oh, and this clown is mine. Trust me when I say that. Yeah, but and I'm not for sale. Nobody's wanting that. But um, <laughs> Honey Bunches of Dick was a topic of last night that I had a good, good laugh at for a while while toked. Up. No, we were weak as fuck last night. I like, and I wish some of that shit was recorded because, like, no, I'm so glad it wasn't because there is shit like it's the internal monologue coming <laughs> out and then no recollection of it coming out and you're just spewing. And I said to Uwa, was that today? I don't know. I think it was today. When I was like, what if something's wrong with us? Like, what if there and is And what do you Ashley- mean, what if? Like, I, <laughs> the gag is, though, like, I think most people are, like, san- sanity is not a real thing to me. Like, I don't think a lot of people are sane. Like, I don't. But it's Sane like, is relative. <laughs> like. I guess. But, like, the way I'm. I don't know. The way we say shit and the way we get weak <laughs> at things that are not funny, it'll just be like saying an adjective and a noun at, with, like, verbing, like, doing something. Like, and weak, 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 crying, like, dry heaving, like, from laughing and being toked up. Like, something's not right. No, yeah, the way that the sy- the synapses that fire in our brain from simple sentence structure is strange. Yeah, it's... I don't know, because I don't know it's too many Kauai. people like that, and it scares me a bit sometimes when I'm saying shit and I'm getting that weak, <laughs> where, like, somebody might giggle just because it's weird or whatever, but I'm like, no, this is funny, like, this is comedy, and it's craziness, like, so I don't know. Is it's, something wrong with us? It's silliness fried brain syndrome. Yeah, and, um... I'm sorry, I have to put this on, I need to take a sip. Got him drunk after two sip. Real witches do real things. Real bleeps do real bleep. Do real bleep. That's not even the statement. Don't look at me when I'm laughing. Um, but um. Okay, this past week I've also been in my bleep bag, which it's probably problematic to say that, but it's like puzzle piece puzzle piece kind of the truth like my autism bag because i'm enjoying something that is so heavily fanat autistic fan base and it's just like a the truth like it's i'm fully like yeah i've been in my five nights at freddy's bag because i'm hyped for the movie we touched on that like two weeks ago when i just mentioned it in passing i think but then i was like wait like i did love that shit like when it first came out i was so into it and then I'm like, oh, I need to catch up on the lore. And thankfully, somebody compiled a four-hour video explaining all the lore of all the games and books. Right. So I'm like, wait. So then this week, I was buying Mystery Minis and Funko Pops. And I bought, I think, 75 Mystery Minis in one week. That was bad. But my collection's coming along nicely. You're, no. Say it. Say it. Say it. I think you have a condition. No, why don't we ask the audience? <laughs> Actually, don't comment, Neoma, because I don't fucking need it. But Neoma, our most faithful interactive. That's a lie. Jennifer is, we thankfully. Love you, Jennifer. <laughs> shout out to Jennifer always. This but, is a shout out to um, Jennifer. Yeah, so I've been really enjoying that. Uh, nobody else was really into that because we were like what 14 when the first game came out because i had i had on my ipad at school because we had ipads in high school Mm. so i was playing that in study hall and i remember like when they jump scare me i had to like train myself not to react because everyone's just sitting silently like around um but that was my shit i really enjoyed it i'm very hyped for the movie now so if anyone loves sign if i (laughs) 
<laughs> if anyone loves Five Nights at Freddy's, message me now. <laughs> Thank you. Five Nights at Freddy Meetup. We're making Stumpwater salad. Magical Stumpwater Hillbilly salad. And that's kind of along the same lines of... It's not an animatronic. That's a human being. Yeah. It's a mannequin. Shea St. John. I think I touched on that in our Halloween recommendations. Right. Um, But it is a year-round experience. Go look up Shea St. John right now. Shea. There's no, Shea. S-H-A-Y-E St. John. <laughs> it is in, like fully like otherworldly experience. It's strange. I'm so into it. I also, I planned it for a few years ago, but it didn't happen. I think this year I might construct a life-size replica for Halloween. Because it's actually scary looking. Like, I would love to do that. Like, that would be so funny. And have it trotting around. Yes. And I have um a pin of Shea St. Yes. John on my pin board. Somebody made merch. Also... I'm not going to get into that. You have something to tell me. I do. And that was um, next up on the docket. Um, There's an update in (laughs) one of our ongoing case studies. We have, um, and what did you guess it was? No, Bibbo and Tita can suck it. I don't know what the fuck they're up to. I thought it was. Bibbo and Tita's former neighbor before Bibbo stepped out. And was outed on Facebook for being a cheater from Family Drama episode right. one. Uh, their former neighbor cuts my hair now. Oh, gee. And the first time I went there, um, my mom came with me because my mom went there first. And they had realized that they like somewhat knew each other and stuff. And then, um, yeah, we were just talking shit about them because they're awful people. Well, B- Bibbo is. But... um. Yeah, Bibbo, still feel free to send us that. Um, share us the link to the cure for Parkinson's because <laughs> we could use it around these parts. But um, no, it is not that one. It is an update in the case of Maisie versus Monkey, which is a <gasps> shocking turn. I Excuse went to a me? Memorial Day barbecue with Maisie, Murphy, Mitchell, Cody was there. The whole gang was there. And I was weak because... Maisie said she's like Maisie's like Murphy uh you gotta tell him like what happened I'm like what happened okay so the house that the monkeys were in it was <laughs> two doors down and all of their backyards are like you can see all the backyards they're okay. like chain link fences and they're all parallel so you can just see right through those chain link yeah. fences to like probably five or six yards and uh Maisie comes home one day and she's just walking up the driveway, and she happens to look over, and in the backyard, this house is abandoned now. No. Nobody's no. living there. No. Nobody's living there. I don't know how long it's been empty. She's walking and looks, and standing in the backyard is a monkey. They're going to get her. No, I'm kidding. It wasn't a monkey. <laughs> it was a squatter. There's been a person living in the house, but not just, he's not just standing in the backyard. He's butt naked showering with a hose in the backyard Maisie starts screaming and <laughs> runs in the house and she's like oh my god look 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 and they go and look and she said their mom was peeking out the window they're like get away from the window he's gonna see you butt naked just right there for everyone to see and the worst part is the house in between them maybe a four-year-old girl lives uh. there that I've seen playing outside many times when I've been to their house so it's like it's just public indecency. And it's like, at least literally keep shorts on or something. Yeah. Like, you can still get your little rinse on. And I guess that is not the first time there's been, like, a thing. Because they saw him one time on the front lawn. And they said he has a shaved head. He's very, like, freaky looking. Like, rail thin. Like, probably <gasps> crackhead. And um, someone else called the police. Because somebody else on the street, right. like, realized that this person's just, like, breaking in and sleeping in this empty house. And... They said the cops came and they knocked on the door, but the crackhead didn't answer. So they left as if it's his fucking house. Period. Like squatters rights, I guess. But Maisie just started screaming and ran into the house. She's like, he's naked, he's naked. And Murphy went running over them. Murphy started screaming. And I'm like, oh my God. Spooking that man. Something is going on in that house. But I said, let me know if there's any more updates. There's... It's like the demon house of Gary, Indiana with Mika. It, it was, was the, the number, number six. six. But um, the, there's some sort of portal maybe that like attracts right. this whack we- energy. Yeah, weird freaky shit. So they said they would update me if anything else happened. But maybe said she to. was so scared when she looked over and saw he was butt naked. I was cracking up. And then Cody goes, did he have a big dingling? And she goes, what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dingling is crazy. My dingling, my dingling. I want you to play with my dingling. Have you heard that from The I, Simpsons? When the tubby boy sings it? I feel like I do remember that ditty. My dingling. My dingling, my dingling. But I don't... Yeah, so uh, weird things going on. At weird dingling. The monkey chateau. <laughs> Monkeys There chateau. are hung crackheads at the monkey chateau. You can't confirm that first part. <laughs> can't deny it. Maisie's no, unsure. No. But, I um, like I was about to say something. God damn it. Oh, oh my God. I recently saw um, and finished Love and Death. It's this story about this. Um, Is that just a movie? It's a series. It's a limited series with the, oh. that Olsen girl, Elizabeth oh, Olsen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it chronicles the time where this um, bitch in Texas, this housewife, has an affair with a guy in the neighborhood, a girl, a family she goes to church with. Things go south. Um, the woman ends up dead months later. Spoiling everything. Okay, oh, it happened in real life. The woman ends up dead, and <laughs> you know, like at the first episode, um, or you know, someone dies. <laughs> These. The uh, the idea that you blacked out and murdered someone in cold blood is so terrifying and crazy. And I have to wonder, how many people have I just walked by who has murdered someone or will murder well, someone? We talked about this before. How many serial killers do you walk past in a lifetime? It's either 8 or 36. Oh. It has to be 8. Because they claim there's always at least 23 active serial killers in the U.S. at any given time. Oh. Also, that one in Chicago, we still haven't talked about that. Um, that is fucking weird. Something's going on. The news isn't covering it. The mayor never released any sort of statement yeah, on it. Yeah, with the men, right? Yes, that they're all uh, going missing. Oh, fuck. Um, after coming home from bars, and they all like look the exact same. Like, there is a type that this... A bunch of people think it's a group and not like an individual targeting these people. And but they all look the same. They're like literally, like twenty two to twenty five, brown hair, mustache. Oh, they're brown skinned girls. No, they're white boys. But um, yeah. And then they all turn up dead in the river, and it's like they're ruling a bunch of them like oh, drunk and fell in the river, and Please. it's like, uh, I don't know. No. I don't think because so, a bunch of people th- like a bunch of them were like. They had sent text or called me like, oh, I'm on the way home. And it's people who like lived two blocks from one of these bars in yeah. the, uh, in River North. And then they just die. They're found dead days later. And one that was really fucking weird. I can't remember what the order was. I don't know if this is related. It s- seems like it. I think a girl was killed and found in the river and was drowned. But she was like a swimmer. Like right. was a sport, a swimmer drowned. They find her dead. Everyone's like, what the fuck? And then two weeks later, her boyfriend is found the oh, same yeah, way. Right. And they ruled them both like accidental suicides <laughs> and shit. And it's like, something is fucked up. I don't know. And the amount of like scary videos I've seen on TikTok of like people. There was one where a guy was walking down the road and he hears screaming from at, like, it looks like an abandoned house. And there was a girl chained up in there and had been there for oh weeks. Oh and kids live next door. And they said, oh, we heard noise in there. We heard screaming for a while. We didn't do anything. And there was a girl just chained up in there in an abandoned home. But the guy was on TikTok filming and he called the cops and you see the cops like going there like there's a girl in there. And then they afterwards it shows like a little overview of what happened. Like so fucked up. So fucked up. And I just had another Happy story. Pride. <laughs> About. Along. Um, oh, damn it. It was something along the lines of the crime stuff. There is a story. I will now save it for next week because we are already <laughs> 39 minutes in. So I don't want to dive into it. But there, we have got a really good story. And we might be able, I'm not promising a goddamn thing yeah. to anybody. So, um, but we live nearby where it happened, is happening whatever i don't know okay we will and it's a very gypsy rose adjacent type story like very strange like crazy actually the craziest shit like i've ever heard in my life so (laughs) um we'll touch on that next week for sure because i completely forgot that i wanted to talk about that this week and Mm -hmm. i did not come up with 
little bullet points because right. I watched a special on it this <gasps> oh. week. I had known about the story, but then it's getting more coverage right now because there was like a docu series out. So my mom and I watched it, and I forgot like how batshit crazy it is. So that will be for next week. Um, but I swear there's something else I was gonna say like crime related because oh, well along the lines with the Chicago thing, they're saying that they think it's the smiley face killer. Because every time a body's found, like, within two blocks, they find a smiley face graffitied somewhere, like, on a building. Hmm. But also, that happened in Boston, I think, and then Texas for, like, a year at a time. And now it's Chicago. So they think it might be a group of people killing all of these people. And then, like, the cops are just like, oh, coincidence, external suicides, this and that. And it's like, more people are going to die. More people are going to continue to be killed because... I'm sure plenty of people don't even know about it since it's not getting coverage or yeah, anything. Yeah, definitely. And it's not like, oh, don't give the killer the attention or whatever. But yeah. it's like, well, more people will die then. So, I don't know. That shit's fucking scary, though. Yeah. People are nuts. People are very silly. Happy Pride Month. But <laughs> Happy Pride Month. Also, speaking of which, that video of Megan Trainer singing If I Were You, I'd Want to Be Me Too. She was on, like, a late night show performing it. Oh, Stupid foul. fucking song. But she's saying, if I were you, I'd want to be me too. And then she slips, busts her fucking ass, and then it fades to black. And a Bible, the quote comes up, pride cometh before the fall. <gasps> Period. With the uh, verse number and shit. Pride cometh before so, the fall, bitch. So don't celebrate Well, yeah, pride it month. happens in June. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> wait, that was funny. Oh, my God, um, you're about to fall. Yeah, so... That's going to be the title of this episode. I just Probably decided. Probably coming for the That's good. <laughs> yeah, perhaps um, for the next couple, we'll do, um, I don't know what some prideful topics could be that are fun like that. Uh, um, We're going to out people. <laughs> okay. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. Yep. Um, get the bleep off the podcast. I'm I not, not watching, watching that. that. Honey. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is that everything I had for this week? I think so. Oh, no, well, we only like barely touched on Taylor, but that's not really. Neither of us wants. We on. have time, but everyone on the timeline was posting. I don't know. I hope you guys <laughs> had fun. I really hope you did because friend of the show, who's a prideful person, um, okay, bought two tickets for <laughs> twenty three hundred dollars a piece for shit seats for Taylor. Um, and it's like. Oh my god! Like I really hope you had the fucking night of your life. I truly hope so. But with for your some eras. reason, I feel like you might not have since you were at a Taylor concert. But to everyone that went, I hope you had fun. Period. That's my whole timeline. I was like, oh, like just nonstop. Blocked. Report it. Blocked. Report Young it. cracker women, left <laughs> and right, talking about. Thank you for a night I'll never forget. Uninspired whites. <laughs> no, literally. Like I, I can't do it. I. Taylor. The mediocre madam. Um the mediocre madam dating the fascist Zionist. <laughs> allegedly. Um, what do y'all feel about Madame Dupree? <laughs> that was another person that was talked about nonstop while we were high last night that I couldn't tell you who it is. I don't like we actually didn't talk about who it was, who what they look like. Nothing. We never got clear it's about just that. The name. But it's just Dupree. <laughs> Oh, you saw in La Beja. <laughs> yeah, wait, Honey La Baba. Honey La Beja. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. We yeah. were, uh, yeah, a little too toked up. Honey La Beja is, is, um, it's something with ballroom though. That's okay. a figure, anyways. You saw Little Mermaid. I did see Little Mermaid. Oh my god. How was that? Oh yeah. It was cunt. Um, I, why did I go alone? And why was I the only one in the theater? And why did I go at 12 o'clock a.m., p.m.? And why was I the only one in the theater? How did you get there? Uber. Uber. That's a lot. Um, well, I had a good time, though. I had to people? pee, unfortunately. But um, it was good. Well, Tried you said it was like 25 hours long or something? It was like 2.30. That's a long time for a, a long kid's movie. movie, technically. That is, yeah. Like, no, that's yeah. ridiculously long. It didn't actually. feel like it. It only felt like strange because I'm like, wow, I'm going to piss myself. <laughs> felt strange. Yeah. Um, I feel like everyone did really good. Ariel was awesome. Halle Bailey ate down. Um, The Prince, very good, very hot. He was good. Um, I feel like the only one I was disappointed by was... Uh, Ursula? 
No, I mean, I don't think she added anything extra to the role, but she did a good job. Um, who was uh, the dad, Trident? Oh, I'm Triton. just like... Who even played Trident? He was so hot. He was a hottie, but... <laughs> I didn't see anything about that because I've only seen about move. Hallie and Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. I don't know anybody else in that. Oh, and Aquafina. Yeah, which she honestly bird. wasn't bad. She was good. But Scuttle. The Scuttle, but... Rapping mess. Um, Ew. So yeah. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. No, like I did. I'm like, I smiled. I laughed. I cried. A I bit. laughed. I cried. I, I was shot at, <laughs> and I had many epiphany. They shot me down, honey. Bang bang. But well, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Yes, um, I felt so good. Y'all won't be getting a review from me on that until it's free. Oh. But um, you will be getting a Five Nights at Freddy review. Did y'all hear that? It's the pride cannon. <laughs> it's like the Hunger Games cannon when someone gets killed. Yeah, someone just got Ooh. transitioned. <laughs> Neo almost transition just completed. Um, He's fully charged now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's enough for now. Um, remember, um, don't be a drag, just be a queen. Whether you're broke or evergreen. You're Lebanese. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but thank you guys for Lebanese watching. Lebanese Labasia. We will see you um with another... <laughs> That's not... The story I'm going to tell for the next episode has nothing to do with pride. I was going to say another prideful episode. <laughs> we'll touch on pride and make more... Uh, Strides. Ill... Uh, what is it? Ill, like ill mannered jokes. I don't know. Yeah, ill, sure. um, because not ill intentioned. I'm ill, not sick. Dr. Sam, the realist, because I'm suffering from oh my god, Dr. Sam, the illest, because I'm suffering from <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sam, the realist, because I'm suffering from a blood clot in my brain. Oh, <laughs> um, Dr. Sam, the realist, because I'm, I'm suffering, suffering from, from illness. illness. <laughs> oh my god, I'm tweaking. <laughs> Dr. Sam, the realist, it's illest. I know it is. Something's happening. <laughs> Dr. Sam the illest because I'm suffering from realness. So make sure to go and like this video. Yes. Uh, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts if yes. you're listening there. Wear your sexy little um, black bathing suit uh, with the with your pride flag, with the pride flag tattooed the on cross, your tramp stamp. In the area. binding, in the Passion of the Christ, and the corporate pussy bow. <laughs> okay, but it's not rainbow this year. No. Um. Yeah, but uh, follow our Instagrams, like our Instagrams, show us love. Uh, follow the TikTok if we ever post on there again, you'll be able to see it then. Uh, follow my new YouTube channel because it's really coming together. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I also have my private TikTok that I plan to start up in the next month. Oh yeah, it's finally, oh my God. I've had the account together, but again, I have been so overwhelmed with other little activities <laughs> so i think i'm hoping the next month to finally get my bearings and have fun yeah and show love to young dylan and um i don't know we love That's you it. yeah it's good all right we'll probably see you the week after next oh you're already calling off early <laughs> i'm pretty ridiculous. sure we could uh two week schedule is when you week on week off week on week off i think <sighs> So yeah. Mwah. Well, maybe. Oh no. What? I didn't say I'll be back for an episode next Ooh. week. Because Rachel's gonna be in town. Oh fuck. For Father's well, we can Day film weekend. It. Yeah. Perhaps we can get that. I don't know. You still might not get it till next week. Here Um. No Father's Day's not yet. Never mind. Um. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, See you guys next time. Be a so. Bye. <laughs>